Hey, mountain friends, how's it going? Hey, I'm excited. I'm always excited to cook. And uh, I'm gonna be making cream of chicken soup. And it's not like cream of chicken soup you can get out of a can. This is gonna be fresh, homemade, good soup, okay? And you're going to use, I'm using a rotisserie chicken and that makes it even easier. Y'all know I love to cook, uh, but sometimes I just like, I think simple is best and the easier the better. That's always good too. And um, so I'm, I want to give y'all the ingredients. Uh, let me grab my iPad here and I will, we'll get started right away. So what you're going to need, you're going to need the chicken, pull the chicken off of a rotisserie chicken and that's mostly white meat because I don't care for dark meat, but I got my rotisserie chicken at Costco. Um, but you need rotisserie chicken. You can use white or dark, whatever you want. Two tablespoons of oil, and I'm gonna use light olive oil. Two cups of um, chopped carrots, uh, a half of an onion, a, a half of a large onion chopped up, uh, four cloves of garlic, uh, a tablespoon of sage, a tablespoon of thyme, one and a half teaspoons of salt, a half teaspoon of pepper, eight cups of chicken broth. I'm gonna be using stock, chicken stock, and eight cups of kale. Uh, and I'm using a half, a juice from a half of a lemon. And that's it. And I'm gonna be putting in a cup of heavy cream. And that's what, that's all that's in this, okay? And I'm excited to make it for y'all. And chicken soup, chicken noodle soup is one of my favorites. But um, I also just like different kinds of soup. And this is so good because I love rotisserie chicken. And I think rotisserie chicken just has the best flavor. Um, so what you're gonna need, um, this is a heavy bottom um, kittle and you're going to turn it on about about a medium high because you want it uh you want to do your vegetables first and your seasonings first okay and i already in here i have a tablespoon of butter you can do salted or unsalted butter it don't matter and i'm gonna let that uh, start melting and it was room temperature so it'll melt pretty quick now this is um light olive oil so I love olive oil. Olive oil is very good for you. And this, what makes light olive oil different between extra virgin olive oil is uh, light olive oil has had kind of, um, it really doesn't taste as strong as extra virgin. It's kind of had, it's kind of been, I don't know. I don't know, maybe you refined a little bit, but you really won't taste, um, that strong taste like extra virgin olive oil can taste like. Now I love extra virgin olive oil, but for this recipe, I'm just gonna use um, my light vegetable oil, olive oil. You can use whatever vegetable oil you want. So, but that's what I'm using. So what you gotta do is you wanna let this get good and hot and I wanna move my camera so y'all can see and make sure it got good light in here so you want your the bottom of your pan to get good and hot y'all because you don't want um whenever you i'm trying to get me a can here whenever you're doing um your veggies you want your vegetables to kind of saute for this and you're gonna put your seasoning in there too, okay? Because your seasoning, um, when you put your seasoning in that hot oil with these vegetables, it's gonna make them even more uh, flavorful. And so it's starting to get hot. So I'm gonna throw in the carrots. You can hear them already start to sizzle. And I'm gonna throw in my onion. And I dropped some. 
I need to get my big. Got all my onion in. Now I don't. I'm not using fresh garlic. I'm using my minced garlic. And the recipe calls for four cloves of garlic, but I'm just going to use two. Um, two heaping spoon. These are about a teaspoon, okay? Two heaping teaspoons of this minced garlic. And it's really strong. And I'm just adding a little more extra juice. You want to toss that together. You can already smell it. Oh, it smells so good. All right, we're going to put in our, our spices. So you want to do sage. Tablespoon of sage. A tablespoon of thyme. Teaspoon of pepper. Teaspoon of salt. You can smell it. Mmm. Carrot got away. Toss these together and get it all. Toss together like that. Now if you have a small onion, you can do a whole onion. My onion was a big old onion, so. I'm going to add in chicken stock. This is 32 ounces. Of course, it's going to slow down the cooking process. You want to add in your lemon juice. And I'm adding in an additional two cups of water. And for extra flavor, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I always like to add in a little extra flavor. This is uh, better than bouillon chicken base. I know I didn't mention this in the beginning, but this is just something I always like to do. I like to add in extra flavor. So you're going to, now you're going to throw in your chicken. This is really simple y'all it really is if you can freeze this and I like a lot of chicken in it
I'm not putting the whole rotisserie chicken in this because it was a it was a big chicken and I want to save some of this because um, my daughter wants some uh, chicken salad so I'm not going to put all that in there I don't really need to and this is chopped kale you can leave this out if you want if you don't like kale you can do spinach if you want And now you're going to put in a cup of heavy cream. So at this point, now you turn it down on about a medium heat. You want to bring this all back to a um, simmer and you're going to cover it and you're going to let it simmer for about, um, for about 20 minutes. And when we come back, I'll let y'all see it. Okay, the soup. Has been simmering. After about 20 minutes, this is what it looks like. And you basically just wait till all the flavors can come together. The carrot gets, a, gets more tender. And I am going to, I want to continue letting it simmer for about 10 or 15 minutes on low. And I want to cover it and then it will be ready. Mmm, looks good. All right, y'all, the soup is done. Look at that. It's all done. It is good. Took it about 30 minutes on a good low simmer to be done. And you can smell it. And that's a good thing. Getting those um, herbs in there and letting them get their flavor out is always a good thing and I'm telling you this is a good soup guys and I want to make a correction and I'm going to taste it here I'll make a correction at the beginning of the video I called it cream of chicken soup but it's more it's really called creamy chicken soup I don't know I got my wires crossed but it's creamy chicken soup and um, it is really good guys this is a um, it is actually a healthy soup believe it or not um, you can, but you, you could actually, you could throw noodles in here if you want. You can leave the kale out. You can add any vegetables you want. You can eat this with crackers, uh, sandwiches. You can eat it with, um, cornbread, French bread, whatever you want. But what I love about soup is you can freeze it. It goes a long way. It's usually cheap to make. We freeze our soup, uh, chili soup, anything I make like this, we freeze it. You can just get it out, heat it up and have it. Perfect for a winter day, but it's easy though. That's what I really like. It's easy, but it's good. And it's so good and with that rotisserie chicken. And um, people think you fussed over it like all day, but you don't. You don't fuss over it, it's good. So I'm gonna taste it. And y'all, it is so good. Mm -hmm. really good guys it is so good like I said if you don't like kale you can leave that out you can put spinach in here you can serve it with some Parmesan cheese on top mmm you can add a block of cream cheese in this in addition and make it even creamier there's a lot of different things you can do to this but the fresh lemon juice makes a difference in this there's a lot of flavor in this soup okay and you can double the recipe and 
like I said, it freezes really well, but it's so good, y'all. It's so good. So if you make the soup, you just let me know. I will share the recipe. Look under photo albums, uh, under um, photo albums, albums titled recipes. I will share the recipe with y'all, uh, so you all can make it. But it is very good, quick, simple, so good. I think I need one more bite. The carrots aren't overdone, which I like. Uh, mm. They're not mushy. Mm. And like I said, yeah, the lemon juice makes a difference in this. It's just, this is really full of flavor. It is so good. So there you go, guys. Creamy chicken soup. If you make it, let me know. I always like to know well, when y'all make something, just let me know that you made it. And thank you guys for watching Mountain Cooking with Missy, where it's nothing fancy. It's just good eating. Okay, the soup has been simmering. After about 20 minutes, this is what it looks like. And you basically just wait till all the flavors can come together. The carrot gets, a, gets more tender. And I am going to, I'm going to continue letting it simmer for about 10 or 15 minutes on low and I want to cover it and then it will be ready. Mmm, looks good. All right, y'all, the soup is done. Look at that. It's all done. It is good. Took it about 30 minutes on a good low simmer to be done and you can smell it and that's a good thing. Getting those, um, herbs in there and letting them get their flavor out is always a good thing and I'm telling you this is a good soup guys and I want to make a correction and I'm going to taste it here I'll make a correction at the beginning of the video I called it cream of chicken soup but it's more it's really called creamy chicken soup I don't know I got my wires crossed but it's creamy chicken soup and um, it is really good guys this is a um, it is actually a healthy soup, believe it or not. Um, you can, but you, you could actually, you could throw noodles in here if you want. You can leave the kale out. You can add any vegetables you want. You can eat this with crackers, uh, sandwiches. You can eat it with, um, cornbread, French bread, whatever you want. But what I love about soup is you can freeze it. It goes a long way. It's usually cheap to make. We freeze our soup, uh, chili soup, anything I make like this, we freeze it. You can just get it out, heat it up and have it. Perfect for a winter day, but it's easy though. That's what I really like. It's easy, but it's good. And it's so good and with that rotisserie chicken and um, people think you fussed over it like all day, but you don't, you don't fuss over it, it's good. So I'm gonna taste it and y'all, it is so good. Mm -hmm. mm. It's really good, guys. It is so good. Like I said, if you don't like kale, you can leave that out. You can put spinach in here. You can serve it with some Parmesan cheese on top. Mm. You can add a block of cream cheese in this in addition and make it even creamier. There's a lot of different things you can do to this. But the fresh lemon juice makes a difference in this. There's a lot of flavor in this soup, okay? And you can double the recipe. And like I said, it freezes really well, but it's so good, y'all. It's so good. So if you make the soup, you just let me know. I will share the recipe. Look under photo albums, uh, under um, photo albums, albums titled recipes. I will share the recipe with y'all, guys, uh, so you all can make it. But it is very good, quick, simple, so good. I think I need one more bite. The carrots aren't overdone, which I like. Uh, mm. They're not mushy. Mm. 
And like I said, yeah, the lemon juice makes a difference in this. It's just, this is really full of flavor. It is so good. So there you go, guys. Creamy chicken soup. If you make it, let me know. I always like to know well, when y'all make something, just let me know that you made it. And thank you guys for watching. Mountain cooking with Missy, where it's nothing fancy. It's just good eating.